Hey Cancer, welcome back to Soul Vibe In with Carrie. Back again with another tarot card reading here for you. So Cancer, I do want to say thank you so much for all the likes, the subscribes, and you being here. I send you nothing but love and abundance um, all day, every day. Okay, that's all I have to give. And that's, that's all I send you. So Cancer, I do want to say I pulled out some cards before I um, get into your reading. I pulled them out and to see what was going on with you because I got a different sense of energy. It was kind of really hard to do your reading um yesterday so i chose not to do it like i told myself i was gonna do it after i went outside and grounded myself and then i didn't end up doing it and then today i really had to ground myself and center myself before i did your reading so i do definitely feel like there's some type of energy in around you you may be going through a hard time um some of you may be going through um an initiation and this simply means a death okay you're going you're coming into a death or a metaphorical death okay where something is falling apart in your life and you're hitting the threshold okay because i pulled out the threshold card as well as the sword so there's definitely something you need to disconnect from um cord cutting techniques will be very significant around this time especially um maybe after the full moon uh, you may want to do one but you, you can do this at any time really with the sword i see that maybe someone or something may be walking out of your life um some of you may be um leaving a job behind or uh, some take it take whatever resonates but i do see you having to use the sword to cut something out of your life and this is basically um just as when you're born right and your your cord um your umbilical cord is cut from your mom that's separating right so through life you have to make these cuts again and again um in order to grow so i feel like you'll be cutting cutting you have to cut in order to grow is what i'm hearing as well as the threshold is basically a door is opening for you but another one is closing so this door is um, going to bring you growth individualization okay as well as um a new reality so you're falling into a new reality of yourself you're seeing things from a different perspective you're opening a whole new door to something you've never really explored into and i know this may be kind of scary dealing with the energies that you're dealing right now some of you may be feeling sad is what i'm hearing because i got the water water element which is you in the reverse i feel like some of you may be resisting to change i also got the sun spirit in the reverse which is telling me you may be sad or your aura may be you know um dim as well as balanced in the reverse okay you're having a hard time healing um some this is this just may be for some of you but you're definitely going through a healing and i promise there's going to be a breakthrough because you've hit threshold so you've hit that basically rock bottom in your life um now this may just be a message for some of you take what resonates leave what doesn't i'm going to pull out a bunch of more cards so we're going to tune into what's coming up around you with love and all of that okay so if you want to skip through this you're more than welcome to if you feel like it's not resonating but let me tell you something with this card I pulled out, this is saying you need to be the owner of your own divine power. And what this is telling me is that personal empowerment is going to um, be needed around this time in order to break through codependency and your necessity to please others. Okay, so I feel like there's a sense or a necessity to be pleasing others or you're codependent to someone maybe there's someone you can't detach from or let go of but spirit is really asking you i see a lot of resistance you guys i'm not gonna lie um <clears throat> spirit is asking you to you you have to you have to disconnect from that which is falling away in order to find yourself again um it's not meant to say that you and this person will not get back together later or it's not meant to say that you and this person will not work out or whatever it is you're fi finding hard to disconnect from it's just so you find yourself again so um with the page of swords i feel like you're having a hard time excuse me i'm holding these backwards um, you're having just a hard time um, with something here, okay? Um, you can't let go of something. I got the sword again. Um, you feel a little stuck, but you need to break free because you can, okay? Get out of your head. Don't feel confused or don't feel depressed and stay looking towards your future. Stay focused on your future is what I'm getting. But let's go ahead and pull out some tarot, okay? Because I just wanted to see what was going on with you and I pulled out all those cards. And so, yeah, Cancer. Um, whatever it is, you're going to get through it. Everything's going to be okay, all right? So let's see. Some of you may be dealing with friends. Um, I'm hearing with friends or something. Or friends that may be enemies or vice versa. Um, let's see. So I'm going to pull out your romance angels first. So can I get some romance angels for 
Cancer, please. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Venus, please. Oh, okay. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay, again, you're getting a, a cutting, a, some sense of cutting, okay? Release someone from your past that you can't let go of. It's about that time. Let your friends help you. Remember I said something about friends? Um, ask for and accept support from others, okay? Let your friends help you with whatever it is you're going through. Some of you, this may be a friend you're releasing just for some of you, okay? For some of you, this is absolutely an ex, but... For some of you, you're letting your friends help you get through this, okay? You also need to keep an open mind around this time. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So you may think that this is your soulmate, this person you can't detach from, but realistically, it probably isn't, okay? Yeah, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, so I do feel like some of you um, are trying to control um, certain situations. Maybe you can't let go of somebody, uh, Cancer, and I can see that. I can, I can feel the energy. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Ascendants, and Venus. What's going on with Cancer, please? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Venus. What's going on with Cancer? Cancer. Okay, so first card we get, um, unable to walk away, right? With the Eight of Cups in the reverse, you can't walk away from this person. You can't forget them. You feel like something's missing. Um, it's just you're having a hard time walking away is what I'm seeing straight up with that card, all right? Um, again, we get this um, hangman energy. So some of you may be dealing with somebody, okay, who who may be going through a spiritual awakening, this may be your energy for sure. You're, you're looking at things from a different perspective and you're seeing things from all angles and you're trying to figure out how you can let go, but still you're you're finding it hard to let go. Overall, what I want to know, what I want to know, what I want to tell you, Cancer, is that I see you letting go with the Empress card here. I see you coming out. I see you winning. Some of you may be dealing with an Empress. This is like a Virgo. This can be a Virgo, um, I want to say Capricorn, but... No, for, but for some of you, it can be. Um, but this is this can just be someone who's very loving, who who's learned their lessons very much. Um, for some of you, I mean, can represent someone that's pregnant. So I just want to put that out there. It doesn't have to be though. But with the hangman, I feel like you just can't let go of this person because this person might have treated you like nobody else has treated you before. I'm hearing, um, but. With the hangman here, you're going to have to let go. And you will be letting go soon, okay? I see you guys, um, you stay focused on work or you're like really determined on something here. Um, I'm getting two number eights, okay? You're having a hard time with transformation. You are. You you definitely are. But you're going to, you're, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm seeing a number five. <clears throat> a number five here uh, with the three and the two. And two eights. So this is telling me that you're you're blocking. Now, I don't want to say that this is a negative reading because because it isn't. I feel like it's what you need to hear. So you're you're almost blocking your own blessings from coming in. Okay. You're blocking your own presence um, from coming in because with the death in the reverse, you're having a hard time going through this and and letting go. Some of you may be dealing with um. <clears throat> yeah. You're having a hard time letting go. Um, I feel like this person has blocked you out in some type of way. Okay, they don't want communication at the moment is what I'm seeing as well. Um, let's go ahead and see what else this is about. Okay, this person has, has pride. Okay, they have their own thing. I feel like also um, you may be a little prideful as well. There may have been pride in the past with this person. Um, with the six of wands here, uh, you may be dealing with a fire sign as well i feel like there was there may have been things that weren't said correctly or there may have been a miscommunication in some type of way with the seven of swords here so someone decided to walk away right i see someone walking away here um this may be from a family a home a certain situation this may be you this may be them so put the energies where they resonate okay but I do see someone here really looking at things and I see also that you guys are very gifted cancer there's a, there's the spirit is offering you something with this with a lesson here and if you're able to understand this lesson and you're able to let go and let go of the fears and everything holding you back you're able to unlock something here that you didn't know you had so 
with this, I see that you can be highly empaths. Um, usually cancers are. You're ruled by the moon. The moon is very feminine energy, and that's what the high priestess represents you, right? Someone who's very intuitive. And I feel like you can be accessing um, that superpower, okay, within you by taking the leap of faith and, and accepting what, what's in front of you. Some of you may have a new job, or some of you may be focused on, on um, something material here. All right. Some of you may have a secret. You may want to come forward and give some something to someone. Okay. Some of you may be holding, holding something within you. Um, staying silent for a moment, but you want to make, you want to do this. Like you want to hand something to someone here. All right. Let's see what this is about, really quick. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Venus. What's this? Oh, back of the deck energy, you guys. You get the Two of Cups. So yeah. Some of you may be wanting to come back around to somebody here. Knight of Cups. So we get an offer. Some of you may want to propose. I'm hearing a propose, proposal um, to someone here or an offer. An offer of love of some kind to someone. To who? Let's see. But you're but you um you're you're not feeling like you're not feeling good enough. Either you're not feeling good enough or or this reunion just didn't happen with this person. Um you you wanted this three of cups and you're focused on this what what you did wrong instead of noticing what you already have makes sense um so like i said your emotions are a little bit up and down i'm not gonna lie cancer and that's okay because you're gonna get over what it is whatever it is you're going through okay the tower card yeah so there was an ending okay there there was a maybe a shocking ending maybe this took you by surprise maybe you felt like you were offering what you could but then something happened and then then something something ended here for some of you, you may be dealing with someone passing away. You don't have to be, though. Um, maybe this person already did. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But here with the tower card, I see some, some ending of some kind here. All right, with somebody um, who you were offering all you could to, is what I'm hearing, all you could. Um, here with the six of swords, you're having a hard time healing. You're having a hard time moving away. You're so the magician so what i'm seeing here cancer is that you have the capability to attract whatever it is you want you're the magician right you can you can attract things you want but you're almost it's almost like you don't know how to go about it and it's almost like you rather not so you rather look into your future okay and this is what's going to bring you balance this is what's going to bring you a lot of balance for some of you you may be dealing with an air sign here an air sign that an air sign. I'm also seeing an Aries, or you may be some. For some of you, you need to take this leap of faith. Okay, it's almost like you need to learn to just let go. So let's go ahead and see. And you will be doing that. Just so you know, I feel like you will be doing it here in the near future. You will be letting go of everything that you need to. So let's get your um, spirit animal. Spirit animal for cancer. I'm going to move all these cards out of the way, actually. Spirit animal for cancer, sun, moon, ascendant, and Venus. So I feel like this is something you may be dealing with around this time. So you're finding the light as the moth. Moth is attracted to light. So you, this is telling me you're, you're becoming aligned with your higher self. You're also becoming aligned with the light. This is very beautiful energy. And like I said, there's an intuitive gift you have, Cancer, that you're going to be tapping into as soon as you learn to let go and leave the past where it is. Okay? There's something very, very special about you, Cancer. Not going to lie. You got the high priestess. The high priestess is not to be taken lightly. So let's go ahead and see. One more, one more for cancer. We get the panther here. So some of you, what I'm seeing is um, you may be, uh, like, I don't know why, but this, this card gives me senses of, like, jealousy. Some of you may be jealous. Um, you may be jealous of some of someone, okay? You feel like they're very powerful. And I'm also seeing that now this may be someone towards you as well. Some of Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and flip the roles if you feel like you need to. But there's something like a unicorn, you know what I'm saying? Someone's very special, almost like a unicorn, and you know it. And it's like you want, you want to like, I don't want to say attack this person. But it's almost something on that note. Or maybe this is someone wanting to do this to you. <laughs> Cancer. So we get peace, harmony, and contentment. Okay, this is something you're working towards. You letting go is going to bring you a lot of peace and contentment. 
you also get oh oh my god look at this happy endings end of a chapter i'm seeing that you're gonna get through whatever it is you're getting through i'm telling you for you're going from the hangman to the to the empress energy so this is knowing your worth this is knowing that you know you doing the I don't want to say research, but introspection, maybe research. I don't know. Introspection. You get don't stop. A miracle is around the corner. So there's a happy ending here for you, Cancer. Even though it may feel like, you know, you can't see it happening at the moment. There is definitely a happy ending happening for you, okay? So let's go ahead and see. You got three cards here. I'll take those that fell out because I feel like they're for you. Determination. Don't be afraid of the rising tide. It will soon recede. So your emotions may be high right now. Don't be afraid of those. Take the helm. Be in control of your own ship. And you got this twice already. One of the other cards talked about the same thing. That you need to be in control of your own life. Okay. You can take control of your life. Dream. Follow your yearning for the deep blue sea. Like what is it that you want to do? You know what? What's going to light ignite the light within you so don't be afraid to dream cancer let's pull out some moon cards because you are ruled by the moon and i feel like i can do that for you so we get communication is key and we also get one more for cancer please some of you like i said you may be dealing with an air sign a gemini um, maybe this person wants to communicate with you. They're kind of looking at things from different angles is what I'm seeing as well. Um, they're, they're noticing your worth or they're seeing you from a different perspective that they never really um, seen, see you before. Okay, that's for some of you. And then you get don't let pride get in your way, full moon and Leo. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. I don't feel like pride's getting in your way, Cancer. Um, I feel like you've let go of that pride since it came out in the reverse. I feel like you're following your intuition here with the zebra card here. All right, your intuition is highly, highly activated around this time because you've been, you've been, I don't want to say stuck, but like this hangman energy where you're looking at things and you're going through your spiritual awakening, okay? You're about to let go and set free and come into a whole new chapter in your life because you're ending a chapter here. All right, so thank you so much for tuning in, Cancer. I will see you guys at your next reading. Bye.